Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Mayapasa from Tucson, Arizona, uh, United States, and this time uh, I'm going to talk about leech cap and the perfect copper system. So I have uh, this uh, decoration rocks close to my home, and as you can see, everything is oxidized and everything, and I, I think this is a great opportunity to show you how it, uh, it works, uh, the leech cap and the perfect copper system. So I have two hand samples in here so uh, and this sample it's a brescia with a angular glass and this is the primary minerals for the perfect copper system we have uh, calcoparite the blue it's a bornite you know you know this is for the scale so yeah, we have parite too and in this one everything uh, yellow is calcoparite that's the primary mineralization that's how it looks deep in the rock without uh, uh, action of the meteoric water any supergene process this this is not without uh, any uh, supergene process so this is uh, how it's supposed to be the primary hypogene mineralization of copper so in this time uh, because we are going to um, talk about a leach cup is going to be the, the upper part of the system vertically and we are going to uh, see in the fractures like uh, this one this is a fracture it has quartz veins but this dark black uh, um, voids in there that's hematite oh uh, hematite and and that hematite came from calcosite so we are going to see what other rocks and this is a porphyry probably monsonite we have a quartz vein in here another vein in here and iron oxide and some yellow ones hematite and uh, we continue looking that way. So, so this face, I, I, I like this face. And you can see the shiny things, that's a sericide, you know, uh, part of the rock. But you see this dark stuff, it's hematite again. And I see in here, I, I like the, this one. You see the voids that's coming for, uh, this is the action for uh, the acid, sulfuric acid for, from the system. So something happens is uh, once we have the pyrite, calcopyrite uh, uh, close to the surface with the rainwater, um, uh, uh, the sulfur is going to become sulfuric acid. And uh, that sulfuric acid is going to leach anything that it finds in the rock so uh, uh, like in this one you know we have fractures we have the, the veins in here and um, yeah I know uh, yeah, this is another porphyry we have uh, this uh, void the probably will be a uh, plagioclase and it has been uh, leached out so now we have a void the spaces open spaces and uh, continue looking for uh, this one uh, quartz vein another quartz vein some uh, hematite and in this side and uh, uh, geroside and uh, in the this part but we don't see pyrite calcopyrite anymore because everything has already has been leached out another one the same thing we're here hematite okay. this is the, the face and uh, uh, everything's iron oxides and we continue looking for and somewhere in here we have this void and in here those voids we call uh, box work sometimes it was uh, calcopyrite pyrite it's not anymore everything has been leached out and I like this sample because it's very nice you see this dark uh, brown black it looks like but we scratch those we scratch those in here and um, it's gonna be red like the wine red wine and so that's the hematite now it's the hematite but some point in the past at the beginning the primary uh, mineralization this was pyrite all these dots and uh, after uh, the leaching process it became calcosite after the calcosite became hematite what is right now iron oxides so this is the signature that meaning to tell us that we have secondary enrichment deeper so the we have to map all these areas. We have to make the target and the exploration process and say, and and say it's possible to drill or not. Because at deep, we need to find the calcosite blanket. The 
is going to be uh, deeper in, the, in this this part and that that's very important if you can see in the in the on the field you recognize say oh we have a target you have to communicate your manager you, your ceo and say we have a possible target to to, to drill that's one yeah uh, as, as we can see in here this is a vein quartz vein another quartz vein and a qsp alteration probably so quartz side parallel alteration but we don't have any more parallel but, but we still we have some iron or uh, or dark minerals in here that's hematite and all everything is inside of the vein and has been leached out. Uh, another uh, leaching process of the, the porphyry veins, quartz veins, we, we call it stock work, right? And that's how, how it looks like the leach cup and in the in the in the in the uh, uh, porphyry uh, copper systems, the, the leach cup process. And another area like this, you know, the, the box walls. Oh, this is the quartz vein also again, and everything is iron oxide now. But you know, all this is spaces, you know, many years from now, it has been filled with sulfites. Then became uh, calcocide, ignite, it has been leached out, everything is not uh, iron oxide. I think it's a very nice example of, uh, you know, after uh, uh, all the process and everything has been used, all these rocks as a, you know, decoration. So you can have uh, uh, for uh, enjoyment for some people. In some cases, we have exceptional rocks like this one. I like this. Uh, it, it looks like a brescia, but uh, close to the surface, and you see this blue. If we scratch, it's going to be like seven. It's a, a chrysocolla, and it is a copper silicate. So the, this is what we call uh, for the ore type um, copper oxides, even if it's a silicate. But uh, if you see it's a, a small piece, you know, in the big area. So at the end, sometimes it does not make, make ore, like this one too. We have probably some uh, chrysocolla in here, or uh, some uh, some azurite maybe too in the fractures but it's not going to make ore usually the uh, copper values if we have something uh, like this is going to be less than 0.1 in all the rock and uh, less than 0.1 is not a uh, minor oh, we have another right uh, area like this yeah, i like this one the blue ones right and uh, um, that probably is chrysocolla and uh, that's copper mineral but usually usually in any other place that you know we we take samples like this samples like that in the 60s and 70s it has been tested and they found it in, in the perfect copper system and the leach cup is a negative area for geochemistry so uh, some people today just uh, recognize and find it and said okay uh, we have a leach cup but we are not going to spend money for something because this is going to be negative so, you know you, you put all the samples uh, uh, in your your uh, map and everything, leach cap is going to be negative, probably uh, 20, 30 pp, ppm uh, or less, sometimes zero, because it, it has been leached out uh, all the, the copper of the rock. Uh, as uh, you can see, and this one you have uh, voids, but you don't have anything in, in the rock. Okay, I uh, thank you. I, I hope uh, you enjoy this uh, presentation about the leach cover in the uh, perfect copper system. And now it's a, a rock for decoration, and it's, it looks uh, nice. It's a uh, uh, and you know some people uh, come over here. See, that's a beautiful rocks. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Bye.